Until today, the gods had envied him, the men had wept for him, the girls had slept with him, while fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeated his sounding lyre, and Orpheus could make leviathans forsake unsounded deeps to dance on sands until today, his wedding day, when he forgot about the snake in the grass, which killed Eurydice, his bride. I'll never leave you, she had said. The poet tried to live without her, but couldn't. Desperate, he formed a plan. A living man, he would descend to hell to bring her back alive into the flow. The years go fast and the days go slow. All living creatures knew his spell. Perhaps he could charm death as well. If not, then death could have Eurydice and Orpheus. Half in love with easeful death, he was a daredevil. He was hell-bent. He was demanding justice. The underworld yawned. In Hades, Orpheus was stalked by shades like bitter fireflies. They flittered flick, now on, now off, now here, now there, nowhere. When Orpheus pressed on and there, despite the susurration started, ghosts don't much like the living. Orpheus was scared to death. He sounded his lyre. They stood to glow. The years go fast and the days go slow. How strange the sound of singing underground. The throng fell silent as Orpheus implored the king of Hades and his captive queen. O oh, king and queen of all that grow and fade, your final done we mortals cannot spurn. Life is alone, to you it is repaid. Forbear to let Eurydice return. Too soon she sped from cradle to the crypt. As creditor, why must you be so stern? My lover was from me untimely ripped. Grim Ripper! Wait a while before you mow. Rewrite the ending to the final script. If you will not, then kill me now. The years go fast and the days go slow. The faces of the shades were smeared with tears, nor could Persephone refuse his plea. So Hades ordered that Eurydice be given back to Orpheus. The catch? He was to lead her out with her behind him. If he looked back, the gift would be revoked. Eurydice was led by Orpheus through silent darkness up the precipice. He had achieved his masterpiece. It was a sounding brass. It was a tinkling cymbal. It was deprived of love. This crazy world was close enough to touch when he stopped short and said, inside of us, we know. The years go fast and the days go slow. You're only saying this to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know where you belong. Eurydice, if you don't go back, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. <laughs> but what about us? I said I'll never leave you. And you never will. But I've got a job to do too. Where I'm going, you can't follow. What I've got to do, you can't be any part of. Eurydice, I'm no good at being noble. But it doesn't take much to see. <laughs> that the problems of two little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Now, now, here's looking at you, kid. She left him then because he loved her so. The years go fast and the days go slow.